Hello, my creative collective, my Aquarian collective. Um, I have so many good messages coming through for this Libra full moon, and I'm excited to share them with you, not just for your sign, but check out your sun, moon, rising, and Venus as well. Uh, you may hear my throat is a little bit scratchy today. Uh, it's not deterring me at all. Um, I'm recording these on the 9th of April, and... Um, I'm very excited. I'm so excited. It's it, My voice will be fine. I'm drinking tea and getting some rest. Uh, I think it's just allergies at this time of year. It usually just flares up, but let's dive right in, shall we, Aquarius? Let's do this. Okay, so I would like to invite the angels, my guardian angels, my spirit guides, protectors, teachers, and their healing energy to this space, and I ask that it is a safe space that allows for the fullest expression of our light, humanity, ascension, and healing. Okay, let's do this. All right, all right. Spirit, can I get some messages for this Libra full moon for Aquarius, please, for my creative collective? Hierophant, Six of Pentacles, Hierophant, Nine of Pentacles, what else have we got, Spirit? Okay, ah, the Empress, interesting, that's, in, I like this energy a lot, I feel like you're like flourishing right now, Aquarius, I have the Six of Pentacles, the Hierophant, and then I also have the Nine of Pentacles, and the Empress. I feel like there's a way that you're... I almost feel like there's a way that you committed to your giving to giving to yourself. Um, and just not not like in a selfish way. Like to me, there was um, there was a reader that talked about this uh, in one of their lives, and it really it hit home for me because when I've given to myself, people say like, "Oh, it's selfish. You're doing this and that," and it's like, "Whoa, whoa!" Like I'm that's not <laughs> that's not it at all. So you have to like double down and justify why you need things that you need or why you have different things um, in your life for yourself. Um, and it's never like I'm, you know, you give and give and give and give and give. And I think that the people who say that you're selfish for giving to yourself and filling up your cup, um, they're often the ones who benefit from you having very few boundaries, right? So, um, and I say that from experience, right? Like, I think that this is you moving into a much more balanced energy um, for yourself, and then what that did was allowed you to commit to yourself and projects that are important to you in a really profound way. And then you come out like this empress energy, right? You come out in this beautifully grounded and deeply rooted energy. It's actually quite lovely, Aquarius. Um, a lot of earth energy here, though, I will say. So this could have to do with work as well. Um, this could have to do with where you're reprioritizing re where you're putting your energy and what you're giving your energy to, like what you're giving that's important to you has, may have shifted. And this doesn't mean you have to change jobs necessarily. It can. But I think that the six of pentacles can also mean that you're ch you're changing how you give of yourself. And it's not that that's throwing anyone really off. I think it's just that the hierophant also represents institutions, right? The hierophant card represents institutions um, and longstanding structures. And I think that you're choosing yourself instead of giving to that structure. And that's really made all the difference. And sometimes what that can just look like in action is no longer, um, you know, doing work outside of work no longer you know um taking one for the team or not or saying nothing because it's just it's like you refill your cup when you realign these things right so i think that you're giving to yourself and i think that th this is putting you in the position of the empress aquarius so you can give to other people so you can give to other people that's fantastic 444 four, four on the time i do think this is something that has um angelic protection around it for you i really do 
Can I get some more clarification or some clarification on this for the Libra full moon, please, spirit? I see. I feel like this is connecting you to this like deep well within you where Venus dwells that is just really allowing you to draw from that energy and that love. Yeah, High Priestess, you know this. You know what you're moving away from, <laughs> Aquarius. You're very aware. You're very aware. And this pentacle energy too. I mean, we have Taurus here, so this could be something to do with the uh like moving into Taurus season on april 19th uh additionally this can also relate to the lunar eclipse or sorry solar eclipse in taurus on the 30th partial solar eclipse um six of pentacles clarifying the six of pentacles good i'm glad we did that high priestess <laughs> that came up for another reading too i think i can't remember for sure um sometimes i have dreams where i'm doing readings and the, the cards that come out in the dream will come out here in readings and it's just like it's still wild to me that that happens but so it's it's i can't remember if that was a dream or if that was another reading so check out your sun moon venus so check out yeah your sun moon uh rising in venus signs as well um yeah i think that there's like a way that you're intuitively giving this to me is like two different ways that you've been giving right like you've been giving in two different ways and it's like they're right siding up so it's like giving and receiving like it's like there's two sides of this now that you're able to participate in and it's really fed and led by your intuition and that's really helping you <laughs> to connect to this ace of pentacles these new offers coming in that are indeed balanced um that are indeed balanced um could be that there's offers for projects or work from a Sag. Uh, Temperance is the Sag card. This is possibly also something that you'll find really deeply meaningful. Um, with the Empress here, Sag tends to be, well, Sag is the card of, um, Sag is the card of like big life philosophies and, and beliefs that we hold, but they're like life ones, not like institutional ones necessarily. Uh, so we're seeing, to clarify the Hierophant, we have the Ace of Cups, the Three of Cups, and the Four of Wands. So I think that this is almost like, this to me says that there's, I think, uh, a little bit of love coming in that you may not necessarily see coming. Like you're going to be busy doing your thing, this Three of Cups, right? You're going to be busy celebrating. And I think that love is just going to sneak up on you and you're going to be not really all that aware of it, right? Not so aware of it. And then bam, it turns Four Cups into the Four of Wands. And this is excellent energy. This is the four of wands is stability. This is stable. This is long-term contracts in terms of work. This is long-term contracts in terms of marriage. That's what this card means is the marriage card, right? So I think this is, this could, you could find yourself married to a new project um, or person. <laughs> um, Ten of cups is also another love card. And so I think that if I'm understanding this correctly, Aquarius, there's a whole lot happening. <laughs> the Eight of Swords, of course. Eight of Swords is basically like a whole lot happening uh, in terms of messages coming through. This could also be downloads, movement. This is also indicative of travel. So you could find yourself in a position to either accept work or people seek you out for work that is in a long-term capacity that is at a bit of a distance from you. So there could be a move involved. Um could also just be that you travel for the for the job itself right like meaning that you could work from home but you could travel to different locations to you know go th to to undertake the work or to work out of different remote i'm hearing satellite offices um so that's uh that, i feel like that's pretty amazing aquarius and then on the nine of pentacles, we have the Hierophant. Oh, good. More clarification. Yeah. So I think that this is like an, this for you, this confidence that you're gaining is like this new way of doing things for you. It's like this new way of doing things for you because the old way wasn't working anymore. Um, I think that was becoming very apparent to you during the new moon uh, this month, maybe. I'm just the way that the Aries energy of I, me, my is landing in this. I feel like there's a way that you you put you started pouring into the right cup and that sort of you know because things align around it. When you love yourself and you truly cherish yourself, opportunities come and you don't do it for that reason. Um, you don't do it for that reason. Because it just it's it it's out of alignment in that case, right? It's out of alignment. But I think that you made the right choice right? You chose to step away from all of this kind of nonsense and nonsensical conflict. That's the other thing, nonsensical conflict, right? 
Um, so this six of wands, though, it tells me that there is success with this venture. But the Hierophant here, in this instance, it's telling me that, like, there was an old way of doing things that you were kind of stepping away from. And there's a new way of doing things that has more to do with uh, your confidence and how comfortable you feel within your energy and your own skin and how healed you are. Um, and it's funny because the nine is pre-empress energy. Nine of pentacles is pre-empress. And then we have the empress here. So I feel like... Um, I do think that some people might see this as a bit of a tower from you. Uh, they might feel like you're trying to take, you're taking, um, well, seven of swords is more the taking, but people might feel manipulated by it because they're like, well, this isn't who you really are, but you really have to stand your ground Aquarius and say, no, indeed, this is who I am. This is, you know, and sometimes people just get used to seeing a specific side of us. So they assume that they know, but they haven't endeavored to get to know more, right? And sometimes that's an uncomfortable truth that people face and have to, they come to understand this tower is coming up again. I think it's an uncomfortable truth that people face because it means that they didn't really know us. And instead of feeling uncomfortable about whether we felt comfortable showing all of ourselves, sometimes it, they can turn on themselves and say, well, I look stupid. And it's not about that, really. It's about celebrating what you're coming to share with the world, right? So just remember that. That's where we can get stuck in people-pleasing patterns and just it gets to be really entangled and enmeshed and not great. So do step into that light regardless. I think this is just noise. I think that these, the five of swords and the tower is just extra noise, Aquarius. I really do. I think that this isn't something that's headed your way. I think that this is more so sort of the, the noise of the people. It's like stuff that, that it's like trying to, people are trying to distract you a little bit, I think. Um, you know, to, to say don't celebrate. Look at all of this stuff that's happening. And I'm not saying like don't leave towers in your wake, my loves. That's not, that's not high vibe, nor is it good karma because <laughs> it comes back, right? Like, and also why would you want to do that? It's just not healing or helpful. Um, I think that with this tower energy, this could have also been the transformation that nobody really saw take place, right? No one really saw it take place. You felt it taking place before, but this is just people are starting to see it on the outside now and they feel manipulated by it because you didn't share a ton with them as you were going through it. But I think that the, this... This is, you know, you're leaning into your happiness more than heartbreak. And that's a really good feeling, right? Empress energy, nine of cups. Yeah, this is, I think you're finding fulfillment, Aquarius. And I don't know necessarily where, if it's with a relationship, uh, friendships, your, your circle of friends changing. When if this, is a, if this is a move for you or travel, that might be changing. Yeah. Here, can I get some clarification on this Empress card, please? The lovers. This is a choice that you make. And it's important to remember that because some people might say, oh, you're, you know, when people say you're so gifted and it's a talent that you can, that you, you've spent hours and hours on, right? It can leave you in this imposter syndrome place where people will say like, oh, you're so gifted that you have such a gift. And it's like, no, like I, 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 people used to say that about writing and it's like, I've spent like hundreds of thousands of hours crafting that right and it's taken work so it's not because in some ways I think we say that others are they have a gift that is innate um, some people have an inclination towards things but I think that sometimes when we when we say people have specific gifts it is a way that we detach good from ourselves and make it inaccessible to us right with my synesthesia for example I felt really awkward talking about it because I just don't like to feel special like it's not it does, it's not something that is special but if you talk about it in any way that that is that suggests that people can learn the things that you learn to see that you that you just your brain sees without trying it's not a gift it's because I've learned to work with it so that it's not overwhelming and all of these things but this is stuff that people can learn and see I mean a lot of folks don't see synesthesia in the same way but when it you know I, I think about these things relative to my own experiences to to share with you like 
if there are areas where people are saying, oh, you have such a gift and it's like they disconnect from how much work you've done, remember that it was a choice that you made and there's so much empowerment in that, right? This to me is about empowerment for sure, empowerment energy and fulfillment energy, right? This is like wish fulfillment, but it took work and I think that you need to remember that it was a choice that you made so that you can stand in your power, so that you can stand in your power, Aquarius. And also just to be celebrated for the work that it took, right? I'm seeing the six of wands here. Yeah, there's a lot of work went into this. A lot of work went into it, Aquarius. Oh, the Ten of Cups. It's The Ten of Cups is like falling out from behind here. Um, hangman, Piscean energy. I think that this brings in... Uh, the reason why... You know, let me do this here. Oh, okay. Um... This is definitely bringing in new offers for you, Aquarius. What I'm seeing most importantly, though, is that this is sort of a, a more, um, it's a way of being for you that may have seemed kind of inaccessible to you. And I think that this is something that you're learning a great deal about yourself through. And more than that, I think it's really helping you to see what you want the most and what's most important to you. Um, and I think it's allowing you to step forward and almost through a portal here, like a Saturn portal, Saturnian portal. Um, the world is Saturn energy, which is also Capricorn in the 10th house. Um, so it could be related to work again with all these pentacles, but it's like you're seeing your worth because you're seeing that these were choices that you made um, to invest and that it wasn't some like there is a divine guidance piece here for sure because of the high priestess. What I say when, when I, what I mean when I say that is that people, you know, often assume that you're, they, it's, people get it twisted about, um, about how hard you work on things. And I don't think that it really threatens people, but I think that some people may feel, um, a bit manipulated because they underestimated you or they overestimated. I don't know for sure. Just this tower and the five of swords is jumping out at me as I say this. Don't let it throw you into things like imposter syndrome. I've been there with my art. I've been there in other instances and it just doesn't, it doesn't serve you, but it also prevents you from serving us like at the collective, right? Like what you give. And I think that that to me is, um, is a really big deal because I think your happiness is at play here, Aquarius and at play, meaning it's accessible to you. It's accessible to you because you're stepping into this really grounded energy that is informed by your intuition at such a deep and profound level. Your intuition has very real and tangible offerings for you, right? High Priestess was clarified by the Temperance card and the Ace of Pentacles, very real offerings for you, um, which to me is, is a, it, it's, it opens up this portal, right? Yeah, there's hard work involved, but I think that you really, really love it. You love the work that you're doing or the, the understanding that you have when you're stepping into these different lessons and learning, right? This learning that you're doing. Um, so Aquarius, this was your Libra full moon reading. I hope that these messages, I'm seeing a lot of balance here for you. I'm seeing a ton of balance, a lot of sixes. And the six is the lover's card, which is also here. Six of wands, uh, six of pentacles twice. Um, so I think that there, I think that there's a message of balance here and I think it does have to do with choices, but I think that you've chosen yourself in a way that empowers the right people to find you, which is really, and the right people, meaning there's no right or wrong way for people to be, but I think it's empowering you and enabling you to connect with those who, um, aren't wanting to take from you as much as they want to give. And that sort of frees up energy because you don't have to show up defensive and worry about overgiving or people taking from you. So Aquarius, this reading is excellent for you. Um, I hope that you have a wonderful Libra full moon. If this reading resonated, please do like and subscribe. It helps me to grow the channel. And uh, if this... Um, and also, I mean, honestly, I just, I love doing these readings. So it helps me to connect with you and to know that this is something that you also enjoy and that resonates for you. I'm happy to do these. So um, I will leave it there though, but I'm going to pull additional cards. I just realized <laughs> the Miracles Now deck by Gabby Bernstein. So let's pull from there, Aquarius. <laughs> I'm smiling because I, I looked right at them and I was like, yeah, we're done. <laughs> no, we're not. <laughs> 
When I've overshared, I simply say, wait, why am I talking? I allow people to witness their behavior so I can help them move beyond it. Yeah, this is, I think, about overgiving, um, right? Like oversharing to me in this is like overgiving. When you're oversharing of yourself, oversharing yourself, your energy, right? This overgiving, this imbalance. Two six of pentacles came out, which tells me there's one side that's not so great. And the other side is like, it's like an upright and a reversal coming out together. So when you've overgiven Simply say, wait, why am I talking? Could say ways, why am I sharing, right? Why am I giving? I allow people to witness their behavior so I can help them move beyond it. And this is about hands off, no more codependent behaviors, even if people feel slightly manipulated by the fact that you're no longer doing this because they're, they're possibly just used to you giving of yourself in that way regardless of the cost to you. So Aquarius, remember when to take a step back and, and, and see the behavior, see the overgiving, see the codependence and say, no, thank you. Right. Chart a new, chart a new course for yourself. No one else will. Spirit, can I get some additional messages here for my wonderful Aquarians? Create a stress-free life. Yes. Endeavor to as much as possible create a stress-free life. Um, you have the power to create the naturally stress-free and tranquil life you desire. You can either activate thoughts that produce stress within you, or you can activate thoughts that make stress impossible. It's your choice. Yeah, so it's a really this forward movement. I think this is also the high priestess, right? It's getting back in touch with your intuition and remembering to ask, is this helpful? Is this kind? Why am I thinking this? right? Why am I thinking this thought? Is it to my benefit? Or is it to my detriment? Right? So create a stress free life. Remember, there's oversharing and overgiving at play here. Just allow yourself to witness your behavior and let other people witness their own. You don't have to fix it for them Aquarius. Okay. All right. So that is your Libra full moon reading my darling Aquarians. Um, I will leave it here. Uh, if this resonated, please like and subscribe. There are other ways you can connect with me on the channel throughout the month. So please do if they if you're so inclined. I'd love to see you on the different videos. And uh, if this is where we part though, Aquarius, have a wonderful Libra full moon. Take care. Bye.